Hi, I'm Thomas Lee, and I'm here. If I look at 10 cool PowerShell version 3 features, you'll find in Windows Server 2012. And in this talk, I want to look at number 6, simplified syntax for where object and get child item. Now, in terms of simplifying the syntax, PowerShell had what many people call a scripting wall. It was really simple to call get process and pipe that to sort by CPU, and to sort that to select name and CPU. Very simple, I typed a verb, or in this case I actually typed just an alias to a commandlet, and then a couple of properties, and PowerShell does what we'd expect. The problem becomes when I start to use the WHERE clause. And so if I wanted to filter out just those processes whose name matched the string power, using a regular expression match, um, I had to put in these dollar underscore and curly brackets, and I could see in my classes for years People taking one look at that, their eyes glazed over, and oh. But in V3, for single expressions, we can now do something very simplified, where name matches power. And I think for most people, that makes a lot of sense. Now, it turns out that for more complex expressions, where I have multiple expressions, where A and B or C and D, I still have to use the old-fashioned dollar underscore and curly brackets, but for the vast majority, that simple that syntax works. Now, another aspect of simplifying the syntax. If I wanted to call a method on a series of commandlets that I've processed, obviously that I've processed, get process where some condition, and I want to kill all of those, I had to, in version 2, use a for each command, for each dollar underscore dot kill. Now, once you get to know PowerShell, that makes a lot of sense. It's pretty easy, but it was a real barrier to people. Now what we can do is simply pipe it straight to the kill method and PowerShell knows when I type pipe kill, I'm actually saying call the kill method on any object left in the pipeline. Now, the third thing I can do is, and which was really, uh, 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 I really missed from DOS and from um, command.exe. In DOS, and ever since DOS 2, I should say, and command.exe, I could do dir slash ad to give me the folders underneath a given folder. I got used to that, but I couldn't do it in PowerShell. Now, I could do dir, get child item, pipe that to where, curly brackets, dollar underscore dot ps is container. And that's real obvious if you knew it. But the number of times people say, how do I find just those that are folders? Well, now I can simply say dir minus ad. And it works. In other words, give me a directory, a get child item of those whose attribute is a directory attribute. I can also do things like saying, let me see those where I just have the hidden parameter. So, if I have a look at this demo now, I go off to my demo machine, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this demo, and the first thing I'm going to do is to, what, is to do get process, sort handles descending, select first 10 group company, a nice simple pipeline, and it gets, as you might imagine, 10 processes, System process never has a company name. So, so, so it's no surprise, I guess, since I'm using just a base Windows Server install here, that the top 10 handle using processes are for Microsoft. I hate to think how many lines of VB script that would take to do, but it's nice and simple. I think most people can get that. It was the where clause. So I had to do this curly brackets. This worked. This worked really well. And there I have all those who match the regular expression of the wildcard string power, so PowerShell. Now, I could now just simply say where name like power. And it works. And notice, I didn't get to put the quotes, quotes in, because PowerShell is smart enough to know the thing following the like is a string. And I thought this was like quoted. Again, a real simplification. OK. Now, let's start with a few cal calculators. I'm just going to show you this. And so now, if I do a get process calc, I see all three of them, and they're there. And now, if I want to get rid of them, I simply get process calc, and pipe it to kill. No parentheses, no for each, and after a second, they're gone. Okay, finally, let's have a look at the minus AD syntax. LS, that's get child item, see call windows, just those which have the attribute directory. And there are all the, the many directories we have in the Win32 folder. Likewise, if I look at just the C colon and, and look at anything with a read-only switch on it, read-only attribute, rather, 
Hey presto, there we have it. Again, another feature of the Windows Server 2012 operating system, putting read only on those uh, folders. And that's a, have a quick look at the simplified syntax in PowerShell v3.